we have to have long distance transmission, right? So we need Arizona to be putting out excess solar when Michigan needs that little winter boost. And we need, you know, Washington state or uh, New York offshore wind producing at that point. And we need to be able to move the electrons around the country. One of the things that is interesting that I hope the next administration is going to look at is uh, common corridors, uh, you know, using the existing national highway system uh, and existing corridors to plan uh, high voltage transmission so we can connect geographic areas, make larger balancing areas. The good news for America is it's got in, on the global picture, relatively low population density and extraordinary renewable resources. So I actually think we'll start hearing soon, not net zero America, but America, the renewable energy exporter. So, you know, Canada's going to struggle more than Michigan and we'll need America to export to it. America, because it will be able to, has better solar and wind resources, will be able to use that cheap electricity to drive the, um, uh, the next generation of steel and aluminum industry and cement industry and become a net exporter to the world of steel and aluminum and cement again because of its excellent renewable resources. So I think we've got to stop imagining that we get to net zero. We need the countries like America, Australia, that have really good resources to actually start thinking about how they become a net exporter of green energy.